today's topic is norm of a self adjoint operator we know about norm of a bounded linear operator using that result we shall find an expression for norm of a self adjoint operator in terms of inner products now the theorem states that let h be a hilbert space if t belongs to s of x that is t is a self adjoint operator and we know that a self adjoint operator is a bounded linear operator which coincides with its hilbert adjoint operator and then we have to prove that norm of t is equal to supremum over x and h norm of x is equal to 1 of inner product mod of inner product of dx and x let us prove this theorem by schwarz inequality we know that mod of inner product of dx and x is less than or equal to norm of dx into norm of x and since here t is a bounded linear operator so norm of dx is less than or equal to norm of t into norm of x and so this expression is less than or equal to norm of t into norm of x whole square for every x in h taking supremum uh, over x in h and norm of x is equal to 1 uh, then we find that supremum of uh, mod of inner product of dx and x is less than or equal to supremum of norm of t into norm of x square and um, we find that the expression in the right hand side is equal to norm of t since norm of x is equal to 1 so each term in the bracket is equal to norm of t and so supremum is also norm of t and so this implies that supremum of um, mod of inner product of tx and x where x belongs to h and norm of x is equal to 1 is less than or equal to norm of t for our convenience we denote the expression of uh, left hand side by alpha then we can write alpha is less than or equal to norm of t as we want to show that norm of t is equal to alpha so we have to show the reverse inequality and we know that if x belongs to h and x is not equal to 0 then x by norm of x belongs to h and its norm is equal to 1 so if we denote x by norm of x uh, by x dash then norm of x dash is equal to 1 and we can write x is equal to norm of x into x dash and if uh, x is equal to 0 then um, this expression also holds that is x is equal to norm of x um, into norm of x da- into x dash and so uh, we so each x can be expressed as x is equal to norm of x into x dash where x dash belongs to h and norm of x dash is equal to 1 hence mod of inner product of dx and x can be written as mod of inner product of t of norm of x into x dash and norm of x into x dash and since t is linear so this expression can be written as mod of inner product of norm of x into dx dash and norm of x into x dash and since uh, in a product is um, conjugate linear in second argument and since norm of x is a real number so this expression is equal to norm of x whole square into mod of inner product of dx dash x dash and since f, uh, alpha is supremum of um, mod of inner product of dx and x x belongs to h and norm of x is equal to 1 and here uh, norm of x dash is equal to 1 so um, this uh, mod of inner product of dx dash x dash is one of the element of this bracket and so uh, this expression is less than or equal to alpha into norm of x whole square for every x in h and uh, we can write in a product of t of x plus y and x plus y is equal to 
in a product of tx plus ty since t is linear and x plus y for every x and y in h and since the inner product is linear in first argument and conjugate linear in second argument so we can write this expression as inner product of tx and x plus inner product of tx and y plus inner product of ty and x plus inner product of ty and y for every x y and h and this expression can be written as in a product of tx and x plus in a product of tx and y plus um, complex conjugate of in a product of x ty this is equal to by definition of in a product this is equal to in a product of ty and x so we can write like this plus in a product of ty and y for every x y and h and this expression is equal to in a product of tx and x plus in a product of tx and y plus um, by definition of hilbert x joint operator this is equal to complex conjugate of in a product of t star x and y plus in a product of t y and y for every x y in h and then this expression can be written as in a product of tx and x plus in a product of tx and y plus since here t is uh, self um, uh, a joint operator uh, so here um, t star is equal to t and so uh, this can be written as a complex conjugate of in a product of tx and y plus in a product of t y and y for every x y and h since in a product of tx and y plus complex conjugate of in a product of tx and y is equal to 2 times real part of in a product of tx and y so we get in a product of t of x plus y and x plus y is equal to in a product of tx and x plus 2 times real part of in a product of tx and y plus in a product of ty and y for every x y in h we mark this equation as third and if we replace y by minus y in this third equation then we get in a product of t of x minus y and x minus y is equal to in a product of tx and x minus because if we write in a product of tx and minus y then we get minus sign outside and so we get minus 2 times real part of in a product of tx and y plus in a product of t of minus y that is minus of t y because t is linear and we get minus y so we get uh, minus minus 2 times and so we get plus sign here so we have plus in a product of t y and y for every x y and h we mark this equation as 4 uh, subtracting four equation from third equation uh, then we get four times real part of inner product of tx and y so uh, we divide um, by four the expression so we get real part of inner product of tx and y is equal to 1 by 4 of uh, inner product of t of x plus y and x plus y minus inner product of t of x minus y and x minus y for every x y in h and if we take mod both the sides then we get mod of real part of inner product of tx and y is equal to 1 by 4 of mod of the right hand side and, and by using the property of mod so we can write this expression as less than or equal to 1 by 4 of mod of first term plus mod of second term for every x y in h and Uh, since uh, in second equation we have uh, uh, actually in a product uh, mod of in a product of tx and x is less than or equal to alpha times norm of x whole square so uh, here uh, we get uh, the first term as alpha into norm of x plus y whole square and the second term is less than or equal to uh, alpha times norm of x minus whole square and so this expression is less than or equal to alpha by 4 uh, norm of x plus y whole square plus norm of x minus y 
whole square for every x, y, and h. And uh, by parallelogram law, uh, parallelogram law is uh, norm of x plus y whole square plus norm of x minus uh, y whole square is equal to 2 times norm of x whole square plus norm of y whole square. So, this expression is equal to alpha y 2 into norm of x whole square plus norm of y whole square for every x, y in h. And so, uh, we get uh, mod of real part of inner product of t x and y is less than or equal to alpha y2 into norm of x whole square plus norm of y whole square for every x, y in h. We mark this inequality as y. That x belongs to h such that norm of x is less than or equal to 1 and dx is not equal to 0 and so norm of dx is not equal to 0 by putting y is equal to Tx divided by norm of Tx in inequality 5. Uh, I have written that inequality for ready reference that is equal to mod of real part of inner product of Tx and y is less than or equal to alpha by 2 into norm of x whole square plus norm of y whole square for every x, y in h. And uh, we get mod of real part of in a product of Tx and y we are writing as Tx divided by norm of Tx and this is equal to uh, 1 by, divided by norm of Tx into real part of in a product of Tx and Tx and um, since norm, uh, in a product of Tx and x, uh, Tx is equal to norm of Tx whole square and so since this is uh, real uh, and so norm of Tx whole square divided by norm of Tx is equal to norm of Tx is less than or equal to alpha by 2 in, into norm of x whole square plus 1 since norm of y is equal to 1. So here we get 1 and since norm of x is less than or equal to 1, so this expression is less than or equal to alpha. And this is also true for Tx is equal to 0 because if Tx is equal to 0 then norm of Tx is also 0 and so 0 is less than or equal to alpha. And so we can write supremum of norm of Tx where x belongs to h and norm of x is less than or equal to 1 is less than or equal to alpha. And this implies that uh, by definition of norm of T. And this is equal to norm of t is less than or equal to alpha and we mark this inequality as 6 then uh, from first and sixth inequality in the first inequality we have alpha is less than or equal to norm of t and here we have the reverse inequality so we get the equality that is norm of t is equal to alpha that means norm of t is equal to supremum of mod of inner product of Tx and x where x belongs to h and norm of x is equal to 1. So, we have proved the result. Thank you.